Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today I would like to tell you about one very specific block, HTML block with Smarty support. First I would like to tell you that this is not an elementary level and you don't have to know this to set up your store, but if you master this um, block, this Smarty settings, they might really come in handy when uh, it will come to raising your sales. So let me show you. First we need to add the HTML block with Smarty support. Add block, create block, HTML block with Smarty. Okay, I'm gonna call it Smarty. Well, content. For now it will be test, create, and uh, okay, here we go. I want to move it here. Now let's um, see the result at the home page. Here we go. Refresh the page. And okay, voila. This is uh, the text we needed. So that means that the Smarty works just fine. Let's go back to the layout page. I think it's better to place uh, the block over the menu. Now let's see what we can do with Smarty. Okay, block options. Before we proceed, I would like to explain you what the Smarty is used for. So, Smarty works with the Smarty template engine, which allows to use Smarty variables that take the information straight from the core of the store. By using Smarty, you can display the information that is not included in the layout. And by the way, after watching this video, I recommend you to go to the Smarty.net website and learn some basics that might really come in handy for your store building. To demonstrate the capabilities of Smarty, I'm going to make some greetings example that will greet my customers when they come to my store. Let's roll. We need to go to the content, delete the test content, and first I need to get the company name from the system. Okay. No. Settings. Okay. Vertical line. Then function fn print um, it displays the information on the screen r i must say that um, that the using all the braces and the dollar sign at the beginning of the variable is obligatory don't forget about them because uh, the smarty is sensitive to the to the right syntaxes so please don't forget about the braces and the dollar sign all right save and now let's go to the home page here we are refresh the page uh, well this is uh, the array array is like a wardrobe uh, with the data this is uh, the boxes this is the packages and uh, this is the packets just the analogy all right what do we need here first we need company variable and then we need company name Let's go to the Smarty block and enter this content. Okay, we delete function. Instead of that, we enter company. Don't forget about the dots. All the variables might be must be divided by the dots. Okay, company name, and here I write my greeting um, yeah welcome to okay save back to the storefront f5 yeah this is the greeting welcome to simtag works just fine now I want to make my greeting um, look more personal yes I wanted to address to my customers. Let's go back to the block. To greet my customers in a more personal way, I will need an authorization variable. Okay, so first I'll enter the... Sorry. I'll enter the HTML tag to divide the lines. Yes, and then... If is the condition, then I'm sorry. 
of of user ID is in, okay. Uh, zero means that the user is unauthorized. After that, yeah. Okay, another condition. Hello, stranger. Yeah, because we don't know who came to our store, who's a visitor. Okay, I'm sorry. Close. Yes. Um, that's it. Okay, save. Now let's see the result. F5 again. Yeah. Hello, stranger. That's because we are an unauthorized user. Just let me pass the authorization procedure. Customer. Customer. Sign in. Welcome back. The name is not displayed, but I'm gonna fix that. One more operation. Now we need to enter two lines of the user information. First we enter here. Don't forget about the braces and the dollars. All this information you can get from the arrays when you choose uh, to print them. For example, you enter dollar of vertical line function print r and you get the information about uh, the user id and the user info okay dot user data for the braces okay and the next line is here mm -hmm user info first name and I think you will also want to use the last name so we just copy that okay and enter the user's last name that's it yes okay save Let's go back to the storefront. F5 one more time. Here comes the name. Welcome to Simtech. Welcome back, customer, customer. That's because uh, this is the first name and the last name of my user, of my customer. And if we sign out, the text will switch to hello stranger. That's how Smarty works. That's it about the variables using in Smarty. In the next video, I'll be speaking about how to use scripts in Smarty. Thanks for watching and see you in the next SysCard video tutorials.